very small cheapo lid and it's not very heavy or stable so as I get to the outer rim of the bowl it tends to vibrate more which makes the bowl rough but we don't blame our tools do we <laughs> except when it turns the speed down They sometimes explode. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a cat. Anyway. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, they sometimes explode. Womp womp. Yeah, fine. I heard a whoa. <laughs> never, never something. Oh dear. Oh, it's all, all right. that work. Say hello to the internet right here. Where? <laughs> Come here. Oh. <laughs> hello. Here's, here's my lovely wife, Amy. <laughs> hello, internet. <laughs> oh, well. Oh well. I'm sure there's something you can figure out to what to do with that. Yeah, if I have a cat that gets an operation, I can put it around the neck. No. Put in the bottom on it. That has never happened to me before. Oh boy. <laughs> so I don't know if I just cut it too thin. Anyway. What a good waste of some cedar. Several hours of time. Oh my God, I could almost glue it. No, what's that Japanese art where they take the gold solder or whatever? <laughs> it's all your fault. Because I'm being watched. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, something like this used to really upset me, but I've, as I've gotten older, I've taken on this Zen-like thing where it's all just learning. It's all a lesson. Fuck-ups happen. Yeah, it's really thin. I think I might have cut it too thin. <laughs> Was that exciting to watch? I wonder if that's recorded. I think it might be. Send in the article. <laughs> Oh, no worries. Hugs back to you. Glue it now. I don't think... Well, this is going to be a Christmas gift. And I don't think it will be a Christmas gift anymore. I may glue it. I, I don't know. now Because I still have more turning to do. And I don't think I can glue it and then turn it. Um, I think that's the end of the life. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Let me read what you guys, all five of you watching. Glue, glue. <laughs> oh, hey. I've been doing this less than a year, and this is the first bowl that's actually exploded on me. My first time working with aromatic cedar. I wish you guys could smell. Here, smell. Smell. It's really pretty, though. Look at the yellow and the red and the... <sighs> It was going to be a nice bowl. <laughs> Who's Maggie Ryder? Hi, Maggie Ryder. <laughs> was it exciting? 
Oh, 600 RPMs. All right. I'll give you excitement. My dust collection is ineffective. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was a journey. I'm glad you guys watched. I'll do this again. This was fun to like actually get to explain to people what I'm doing and all that and why it exploded. <laughs> I'm really glad you guys got to watch this. Oh, well. Hey, lampshade. What do you think? I don't know. I'll probably save it for like six years, and then six years from now, I'll just be like, what the fuck am I saving this for? And then I'll throw it out. Because that's what I always do. Anyway, I think it's time to have a shower and a drink. Get all this cedar off me. So, oh, the yellow square. This is my dust collector remote. So I turn this on. There's my dust collector. Turn it on. Ooh. Have all this piping going to most of my tools and I open the blast gate or close the blast gate when I'm not using it and theoretically it collects the dust but my system isn't quite powerful enough it, it's better than nothing and it collects the fine dust which is good you just made a thing going on I don't understand that reference, but I mean, I know it's Mario, but anyway, so that's it. I think I will say goodbye again. Thank you for <laughs> tuning in as my bowl exploded. Bastard. And I think I will sign off now. Thank you guys. Seriously. It was really fun having you watch. And I, I'm honored that you would actually watch me like turn a bowl. This is great. Good night, Kim. Good night, Josh. Good night, Mike. Good night, people watching with Josh and anyone else on the stream.